So this is the final video, at least for breakfast today. Um, and I am done making the frittata, asparagus and cheese frittata. I'm gonna show you the menu real quick. Or excuse me, the recipe real quickly. There is the recipe taken from Ultra Metabolism book. I think this is my third one, by the way. For some reason over the years, I've lost a couple during the move. Um, so, also, there's the frittata. And I am going to cut it up, put it on a plate, and then garnish it with some chopped tomatoes. And that will be breakfast for the day. So today, I've introduced you to my refrigerator, the items in my refrigerator, food items in my refrigerator, freezer, uh, what's in my pantry. And I do, I do snack, I do enjoy different things. Uh, sometimes I enjoy a can of whipped cream with um, a spray cream with uh, my fruit. Um, like I said, um, I usually have a glass or two of wine uh, a night. And then um, what else? If I have ice cream or anything like that, I have to go to the store. Um, and I don't tend to bring it home. If I uh, want to enjoy ice cream, I'll go to Dairy Queen or one of the um, better ice cream shops. I also enjoy, enjoy uh, frozen yogurt. And I'm not in St. Paul or in Minneapolis, St. Paul area anymore, but I don't know if you guys have been to Cafe Latte over off Grand Avenue in St. Paul, but it is absolutely amazing. Um, so if you get an opportunity to get there, get there. Um, they do have HEB as a grocery store here, and they have some pretty nice looking um, desserts. And I haven't had those desserts yet. And I will occasionally have a dessert. Usually it's after I've been riding for quite some time during the day. Um, but I don't do that very often. Uh, the next, within the next few videos, I'm going to show you my spreadsheets that has tracked my my um, blood work, and perhaps you will take an idea from that um, to help you reach um, your metabolic goals. So this is it for now. I'm going to touch base a little later because I'm after I'm done eating the frittata, I am going to begin making the butternut squash bisque, which is absolutely amazing by the way.